Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your reading messages in anything um, from the universe for the next 10 days. Um, I wanted to do a monthly thing, but um, a lot of personal and <laughs> energy um, capacity is not letting me do it. Um, but I appreciate you being here. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much. Um, just started and I would love your support on YouTube. Okay, so let's get started for your next 10 days. Wow, that thing came out a chunk. I'm not going to take that because I didn't feel like a message came through. Your intuitive messages for Aries, please, universe. once I'm going to um, bring the cards out and I will do my intuitive readings after that so okay seven of Pentacles and eight of swords mm, transformation mm, let me move the cards a little bit because I'm not able to see. Two more, and I will get some clarifications if needed. The Emperor. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. The Queen of Wands. Okay. Let me just grab three Oracle just to make sure it's a complete message here. Okay, I will be pulling two um, angel uh, cards from the two decks here at the end of the reading, and I will also um, uh, take out the book of answers. So whatever questions you are, um, you know, you want to ask the universe, it will come from the book of answers at the end. All right, so let's go ahead and interpret this messages for the next ten days. So you got the two of wands. Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. So, taking the next steps, bold, ambitious choices. Okay, that's coming through in the beginning of your 10 days. And then you are planting the seeds well, efforts or instruments will be rewarded in the future. And then Eight of Swords, the illusion of entrapment, a lack of self confidence that makes you feel helpless. Um, for the next 10 days, I feel like you're really trying your best in terms of i'm going to put this here first just to get the interpretation you're trying your best um, to achieve your goals you are really ambitious and you're taking the next steps towards um like let's say you are working at this time and you really want that promotion so you're trying to gain those points of recognition um, you are planting your seeds well, so your efforts and instruments that will be rewarded in the future will happen. It just needs a lot of patience at this time. And sometimes um, you do have the capacity to second guess yourself. So let's say you're pushing forward and you're saying that, oh, um, sorry, that's my dog. Sorry about that, that's Buddha. The illusion of entrapment for Eight of Swords. So in your mind, in your um, in your head, you're feeling a little helpless. You want it to be faster than it should. So um, before I get to the Oracle, I will also interpret the bottom cards for your next 10 days. And underneath the um, Two of Swords, I got the transformation. So internally, you are going through a significant change and you are building this fire inside of you. you it's like, it's like, it's like the fire, you know, your Aries, the fire is growing inside of you. The motivation, the, um, the, the movement of showing your peers, showing your, 
your uh, authoritative uh, figures um, that you really want this position mm -hmm. in your career and in love you're really putting a little bit of effort you're ma making more effort mm -hmm. in the relationship and also as a self-worth being you're just putting a lot more interest in enhancing yourself and underneath the seven of pentacles we see the emperor and i feel like this is your this is your mindset you know you you are logical and organized and increase your you're trying to increase your success at the same time so you have a leadership role that um that shows you are really logical and you're organized and you're in trying to increase the uh, chances of success. And of course it will happen because it's seven of pentacles, you're planting that. People see the effort, people are recognizing and you and it, the universe is hearing you and also listening to you when you know in your heart and in your head you are right there trying to achieve that goal. And then I have, we have here the Queen of Wands underneath the um, Eight of Swords. And for me, when this happens, you're, you know, you're, you are the, the Queen of Wands. You are the fire. You, you can do nothing. There's nothing you can do. But at the same time, you are kind of like in this, you feel like you are not worthy sometimes. You feel like you don't deserve um this type of recognition so there is a bit of um conflict here i feel inside internal conflict um but this is you male or female queen of wands um you know you're controlling things that you can and and of course analyzing things that you that you you know the things that you cannot do so you need the balance between career and personal life. All right, so the clarification with the Oracle cards here is saying the answers you need are coming. So, you know, this is from the first half, transformation is happening, you're taking the next steps, um, a little bit of faith in yourself. Of course, the answers are coming in those beginning of the 10 days. And then, during your transformation, you become this emperor, right? And you're planting your seeds. And it's wonderful because the energy is gaining momentum. That's validation from the universe that you are gaining momentum. You are getting there. You are striving through. And then the last portion of your 10 days, you are the queen. You have this um, illusion of entrapment lack of self-confidence so again internal internal conflict mm -hmm. and the universe is saying please surrender to the divine you know there's only things that you can control mm -hmm. and um and that is so true i mean we all go through this but in your 10 days at the end that will show you you got you gotta let go and give it to the universe look at this obstacles <clears throat> and blocks are lifted your first oracle angel card and it says all your good personal work and your positive energy shift will all well i'm mean, sorry can't read positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away you will now experience progress and forward movement with your project stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues exactly you have to keep faith in what you do and have faith in yourself even though you feel like you're giving up um, there's another important message here family loving your friends and family is center in your life purpose that is so true okay this month this 10 days it's good to focus on family and some of and loving your friends whoever makes you feel like you belong and it shows um a deeper 
purpose to them that you know you're valuable in their life so obstacles and blocks are lifted and family is super important for the next 10 days okay so whatever you are asking yourself please take a moment to breathe in and out and ask um, the book of answers the angels around you what is going on answers please Bring to light what Aries is asking. You are too close to see. So I feel like this answer shows that you may be um, overanalyzing, um, maybe a little bit too close in seeing what's truly there. So maybe it's time to take a step back to whatever situation you're dealing with and see it objectively, see it in others per, other perspectives. So that may be a good way of looking and finding those answers. Okay, Aries, thank you so much for spending time with me and my intuitive reading. If you like how I read, please um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you um, with another reading in the next 10 days. Bye for now.